Then we see in God's curse. So in Genesis 3, go to verse 16. We see God say to the woman, I will surely multiply your pain in childbearing. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be, to, shall be contrary to your husband, and he shall rule over you. And to Adam he said, because you have listened to the voice of your wife and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In pain you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. But by the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken, for you are dust, and to dust you shall return. So you even see, now maybe you didn't notice it there, but our gender actually determines how God curses us. How you experience the curse for sin is determined by your gender. No hands are going to go up in this room, if we're all honest, and we're of the conviction I believe we're at, if I said to the men, how much does childbirth take a toll on your body? Amen, gentlemen? We don't experience it. We experienced crushed hands as our wives are in pain. We experienced lost sleep. and I'm actually, I'm tearing up a bit, I'm sorry. It does take its toll, and we're not often asked about it, okay? A question would be nice. Uh, but in general, the curse of the childbirth falls squarely on the woman. The woman is, uh, but, but, but look at this. The woman and the man are not just cursed differently, like God rolled some dice. They are each cursed in their area of primary fruitfulness. So the thing they're called to do is the thing that God then makes harder. So that where she was given the calling in her name, in her nature, in her, in her creation order, her call was be wife to Adam, mother to children, and homemaker. And so her curse is childbearing will be hard and painful. You'll despise your husband's rule and he'll have to press down upon you the law of God. It won't be this beautiful, fruitful relationship of complementarity anymore. Can be that, but through difficult work. That suppresses your inward desire to buck off the authority of a husband. And then the man is cursed in specifically his area of work and productivity. You, Adam, the field that you were given to, to, uh, to cultivate, the food that you were meant to go and provide through, all of those things are now going to be your area of curse. So we see here God's asymmetrical view of the first man and woman. She's the life giver. That's where she's cursed. She's the, 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 sub, the submitting helpmate. And therefore, those two things are going to be very painful. And he's the provider, the worker, the dominion taker. Therefore, nature will fight his dominion. In creation, in the fall. So this is Genesis. This has been our foundation. In, in creation, in the fall, in the curse... God has shown an extremely clear anthropology where the male is leader, ruler, worker, teacher, woman is helper, subordinate, and life giver. 